Alright, hello there. Um, today I'm going to record a short tutorial on how to change textures uh, of models in SFM by using some third-party programs such as Paint or Photoshop or Paint.net. And to do so, we, we, it's, we are going to use a, a program called VTF Edit, which will enable us to um, export the texture files of a model and then being able to, to change them, to edit them as we like. So I want to change the textures uh, of this model here, this flute. I want to get rid of these uh, yellow lines yellow goldish lines that they that uh, it has um, so to do so we have to find the corresponding texture file of the of the model uh, this can be somewhat of a hassle in SFM sometimes uh, finding the texture file is quite straightforward sometimes you're gonna have to to dig a little, little deep into the into SFM's files so what we're going to do is select our model here right click then show game model in explorer there it is so this opens the page that corresponds to the model we are using but it does not correspond to the texture we are using so we can actually do this we can add materials just before models then backslash press enter and hope that it works if it does not work this means that this path does not exist in which case you're gonna want to to go to materials simply and we are going to try to imitate the models path so it was in models was ct weapons lightsabers of course that's that's a light lightsaber everyone knows that and then here we go these are our, uh, our texture files right here this is the flute uh, file that I used. So to open these VTF files, which if you didn't know VTF stands for Valve Texture File, we're gonna use a program called VTF Edit. Uh, it's already installed on my PC as you can tell. Um, I'm just going to double click on the file. This will simply open the texture file. So this is what VTF looks like. Honestly, it doesn't look very... Uh, it ca can feel kind of scary, but don't worry, we only need to use it to to uh, switch between file extensions. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do now is go to file, export, or you can simply press Ctrl E. And then we have to find uh, where to export our file. I'm just gonna export it to the desktop. Uh, you can pick a file extension. I usually just leave the TGA file because that's the default one. Then click on save. We can minimize this for now. And our file is avail available right here to be edited. I'm going to edit it through paint.net, but this is not the point of this tutorial, so I'm just going to skip that part. Right, so I just took care of what I wanted to, to take care of. Uh, the next step is to, of course, save our texture file, and then we are going to import it uh, to VTF Edit. To do, so, to do so, press Ctrl I, or you can also go to File, Import. Uh, let's pick our file here. And then it, this window shows up. Uh, you, honestly, you honestly don't really need to mind anything around here. But there's one thing I'm, I usually ta uh, take care of. It's this part here, with the maximum width and maximum height. Um, in our case, it's a two, 256 by 256 image, so I'm just going to lower this to the corresponding values. Here we go. Press OK, and then our file is, is available right here. So all we have to do now is to press Ctrl S to save, or once again, you can go to File, Save, or Save As, it's pretty much does the same thing. Then you have to find the way to your SFM folder. I left a shortcut on my desktop. That's something you should absolutely do. Have a shortcut to the game, uh, the game folder. Then you need to find uh, a place to save the custom texture file you just made. Uh, in my case, I'm, go I'm going to use user mode, models, uh, not models, sorry, materials, models. 
than was LCT weapons, lightsabers. I did not choose the, these for the names actually. I'm going to go to flute. And then you can pretty much give it any name you want. Uh, try to avoid spaces though. Uh, use underscores. I'm not really sure if this actually matters in any way. But uh, use, use underscores just in case. I'm going to call it flute VAL. You can pretty much call it anything you want. Uh, you need to remember where you saved it. Where you saved it, sorry. Because we're going to need this information for SFM. Alright, I'm going to remove this. Let me try again. If you if you want to add some custom custom texture texture files to your models in SFM, you're going to need to Let me show you. Let's take care of this flute at the bottom. You're going to right click here in the animation set editor, add override materials, then show in animal viewer as a model. This will show up. Then scroll down to materials. D, and then you're gonna want to left click here, right click, add attribute, string, and we're going to call it dollar sign base texture. Uh, this is normal, this will happen because we did not provide the texture file. We just reset the texture file of the model. Alright, so that's where we need the path to the model that we, to the texture file, sorry, that we, we just saved. So you can pretty much left click here. This will show up and select it starting from here. Models was LCT weapons lightsaber flute. So that's only the path. Now we need to specify the, the file name and the file was called flute val. You don't need to put .vtf, just leave it as it is. And as you can see, our custom file just appeared. <laughs> so yeah, our custom texture is working. This is working as intended. Um, if, uh, just in case, if the, the file does not work, if you're still left with uh, something like this, uh, what you're going to want to do is go to the console, and then you can type in either mat underscore reload textures, or you can also type in reload all materials. Reload textures is faster, but all materials will reload, well, Material files, which are something else I absolutely don't know about, and uh, texture files. I'm just going to do this one, because it usually works better, even if it takes more time. And then your file should theoretically appear properly. If it still does not, uh, that should that probably means that the, the path you put is not correct. Uh, in which case, um, good luck finding the right path, because it's often hard to to, f to uh, find the exact path to a to input into SFM. But usually after user mod or workshop or TF or whatever, it's usually the second folder. What I mean by that is we are currently to the user mod folder, then I'm going to re uh, right click on left click sorry, on materials. And then this is where it begins. Models, uh, was, SCT, weapons, etc, etc. That's the full path, and so that's where it begins. Models, from here. However, if I wanted to another folder, so let's start with materials. Let's say I wanted to go into the... Let's say my file is in, is in the Incorpolis folder. Well then, it's gonna start from here. Incorpolis, not from materials. So it's gonna start from the folder after materials. Right, I hope you got that. <laughs> Either way, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Uh, if it was... Uh, you can always let me know by leaving a comment or leaving a thumbs up. And uh, I wish you luck with uh, using SFM. Bye bye!